Hey, my crafting friends, I'm Pebbles. Welcome to my channel, Qualitas Creations. Today is Hashtag Tea Tuesday, and it's an open collaboration hosted by Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things. So, let's get started. And of course, you know, today I'm having a cup of coffee. <laughs> I love my coffee and I figured since it is Tuesday I would show you my Tuesday morning haul so let me go ahead and get started and you're probably wondering what on earth is this right yeah that's what I thought too it was in a cart and it was five dollars and they said that you could put plates and here and I thought huh well I don't know if I want to put plates in it but maybe it could fit some of my paper cutters <laughs> it's an idea I'm not sure I'll see how it works it was five dollars so hopefully it works for that if not maybe my larger dies I'm not sure yet but let's go ahead and get started on this haul so for um four dollars and 39 cents and everything was 10 percent off because arts and crafts are only 10 percent off right now this is from simple stories it's six by eight paper pad it's simple vintage vintage c's and i thought this was really pretty so this is the pad and it is okay <laughs> and it's falling apart already oh my gosh so it is two-sided so that's kind of what it looks like Kind of flip through the pages so you can see them. I thought it was a really pretty pad. Yeah, I'll just keep it over here so you can see. I'm trying to make sure it's in the light, but not. Oh, there's all the pages. I think I showed you every single one of them. I've already ripped the front page off, so oops. Okay, I can tape that back together. <laughs> And let's see. And then I purchased a clear acrylic stamp. It's 2.9 inches by 1.9 inches. And it says, true friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. And I thought that was a cute stamp. So I did purchase that one. And then I found this one. This is the best view comes after the hardest climb. And this was also $2.99. It was from Crafter's Companion. And like I mentioned, all these items are an extra 10% off, but I did purchase this from Fox River Grove, I think it was called. Anyways, it's kind of like by the Chicago area and it's in Illinois. So I think their taxes are like nine or 10% anyways. So pretty much it was just no taxes, I guess, because it's only 10% off. Okay, I'll quit griping. <laughs> and this one is Annabelle Spensley, and it's from Crafter's Companion. It says, hope your day is filled with unicorns and glitter. I thought it was really cute. It was only $2.99, so that was a great deal. And let me show you the back, because you can see the stamp a little bit better. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. And then here's another one from Annabelle Spensley. It's... Uh, it says, you're pretty magical hugs. Uh, I believe in you. And it's a little girl and she has her unicorn. And I thought, oh my goodness, that is adorable. Let me show you the back. And this is what the stamp kind of looks like. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. And here's another one from Annabelle Spensley. As you can tell, once I saw these stamps, I'm like, oh my goodness, those are so cute. Why haven't I seen them before? I probably have, but didn't notice them. But I don't really have a Tuesday morning around me. Um, I went to check Tuesday mornings near me, and this is the only one that showed up. So I think the other two that I looked up were closed already in Illinois, and the ones in Wisconsin are already closed. So I think this is the last one close to me. I don't know. Maybe if some people live in southern Illinois or central Illinois, there might be some more Tuesday mornings. But, you know, I live... I'm closer to northern Illinois, so... Yeah, that much left. Anyways, this is from Annabelle Spensley. 
And this is all dressed up and ready to go. And there's this little girl, and she is adorable. Oh my goodness, look at her. And there's all these stamps. Oh my goodness. It says, wishing you a lovely day, gorgeous, beautiful birthday girl, time to sparkle. I just thought this was so cute. Oh my goodness. And then this one is also an Annabelle Spensley. Was it Spensley? Anyways, this is a little fairy and she's so cute. This is a little bit of sunshine to brighten your day. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? Oh my goodness. And these stamps are so cute. My neighbor actually has these flowers right here. They're usually white and they're so pretty. I think they're called Lily of the Valley. It's the name of the flower, but oh, so pretty. The next stamp I purchased was, you're not going to believe this. Annabelle Spensley again. Yay! <laughs> and it says, hope your day is filled with unicorns and glitter. Never stop believing in the magic of your dreams. And it's just such positive little stamps. And I thought, oh my goodness, they're so cute. Look at this little girl, her unicorn. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Adorable. Adorable. And then for $3.19, this is from The Mask Love. Let's see if I can pull this out. So recently I've just been obsessed with paper clips. I don't know why, but yes, that is what's been going on. So let me see if I can find a piece of paper because it's kind of hard to see these paper clips. So here you go. Aren't those adorable? Oh my goodness. They were $3.19 and there's only five of them. So I'm like, Ugh. they were 10% off, but still. Anyways, I thought they were adorable. There's a seashell, a flamingo, grapefruit, and a flower. So I decided, yes, I'll pay that price and I will take it home with me. So that is all of my Tuesday morning haul. And for anybody who lives in Illinois, you know that over there by Chicago, or as we call them, the cities around Chicago, the Burbs, um, maybe they're not called the Burbs. I've always called them the Burbs because they were like either north of Chicago or west of Chicago. Anyways, Schaumburg is what I'm talking about. And Schaumburg has an Ikea. So I found these cookies. And you know me with my Tea Tuesday, I like to try new stuff. Um, last week, I believe, or maybe it was a week before, I tried a cannoli. Oh, my God. Delicious. Yes, it was. <laughs> and this is Milka Choco Jaffa Raspberry Jelly. So it is made in Poland. It's a store in a cool, dry place. Okay. There's five servings per container, and a serving size is two biscuits. Now, interesting, they call these biscuits, because I know when I talk to my friends in the UK, they always call these, like, biscuits, and I'm like, oh, they're cookies, and they're like, mm, they're biscuits. And sure enough, this says serving size per two biscuits. So, <laughs> maybe in Poland they call them biscuits also. Every time I think of a biscuit, I think of, you know, something you get at McDonald's, you know, you have your biscuit, your sausage, your egg, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, you know, but well, they call biscuits this way, and I've already opened the package. <laughs> okay, so maybe I've tried one already, but I guess I could try it on camera too, so let's take a taste. Mm-hmm. Mm. These biscuits are delicious. Oh my goodness. This part here tastes like a cookie. I know it's a biscuit. It tastes like a cookie to me. And then it has this like raspberry jelly. And then it's covered with chocolate. Oh my goodness. Mm. Delicious. Yes, I've already opened the package. So I knew it was delicious. But <laughs> I did want to try it on camera. And mention it to anyone who was wondering about these wonderful biscuits. Mm, absolutely delicious. And they're from 
Milka. And I've never heard of that company. And it says made in Jaroslaw, Poland. So, yeah. Absolutely delicious. Well, thank you for spending time with me today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a positive comment. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of the week. Stay safe, stay positive, and keep crafting. Bye, my crafting friends.